Hello everyone, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be discussing an advanced topic, that is, where do you find the latest malware? Now I know this may sound kind of funny and weird that we actually have to go out looking for malware because usually that's not the way it works. Malware comes looking for you. But if you are a tester, it can be annoying and really frustrating sometimes to not have malware samples. And it's really difficult to locate a bunch of malware samples online. It's, it's not as simple as, hey, let's just go to Google and type random stuff and go to crappy websites. And yeah, sure enough, you, you might get infected eventually, but you can't specify the link or you you won't know exactly the websites I mean you can't do testing with that sort of thing so you really need some sources that have malware listed down very nicely for you now there are a ton of these sources there's no end to this uh, anyone can start their own honeypot there are a ton of companies doing it and there are a lot of web services that provide live malware but in this video, I'll be going over some of my favorite sources that I use on a regular basis. So, if any fellow testers are out there, and if you're really looking for malware and you're having trouble finding it, you should have some luck with these websites. So, just for formality, once again, I would like to state that this is only something that advanced users should do. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not aware of the capabilities of malware and how it needs to be handled, you should definitely not visit these websites. I shall not be held responsible for any damage that you do to your computer by visiting the websites that I'm about to show you in a moment. But that aside, I mean, come on, subscribers of the Peace Security Channel, you probably know these things already. So let's get started. So the first website that I visit on a regular basis is VX Vault, and you can check out the link over here. It's vxvault.net slash fire list, or I guess just going to vxvault.net is going to do it. So as you can see, we've got all these links over here, and make sure that when you're using links, you check out their MD5. You can check out the links on VirusToll if you like. And you always have to check if they're live or not. I mean, right now it has a very nice color coding scheme where green means basically live, yellow means maybe live, red means it's these links are dead. But even then I've I've seen a lot of the green links sometimes don't work out, so it's it's a good idea to basically just test out the links or try out the links before you actually use them. So the next website that I'll be talking about is a very popular one. This is Malcode. And uh, this is a fairly old website. A lot of people have been using it a lot. A lot of other AV testers also use this frequently. So you will get a ton of malware over here. Once again, the malware that you get over here is not necessarily always malware. You may get stuff that is a false positive. So the nice thing is over here you have uh, the MD5 and you can click it to get the virus total report. Like if we want the virus total report for this file, we can just see it over here. Okay, file not found. This is something you will encounter a lot, but sometimes it does work. Let me try to get an example here. There you go. So you can get the detection ratio and you can look at all the engines that have got that file. And that should be a good indicator to whether the file is actually malicious or not. Once again, this is a really nice website, but as I said, there are a lot of links and many of these links may be actually hosting the same malware. So do your research, don't just rush things and get like just the first 10 links and do a test out of it. You're not going to get reliable results that way. So make sure you know the malware that you're testing with and make sure that you're actually testing with 10 different pieces of malware. So 
you know, use the site, but do your research. And there are always obviously a lot of pages. You can keep going as much back as you like, but it's sorted by date. So the most recent samples are at the top. So the next website that I'll be showing is CleanMX Real-Time Database. Now this is something that a lot of testers didn't know existed. And in fact, even I didn't know this existed uh, until you know a few months after I started testing. And this is one of my favorite places because this allows you to search for a particular type of malware. So what that means is instead of just seeing all the latest things and you know you can all also get virus toll reports over here so that's another nice thing in fact it gives you a number over here this is usually the website detection and not the file detection but that's also useful data and it also tells you what the malware has been flagged as by which AV like for example this one is flagged as Trojan Gendal by Avira. And here's the URL and it also tells you whether it's live or not but again these are not always reliable. So let's get to the search functionality. So let's say I want something like I just want to see Trojans. That's what I'm looking for so what you can do is you can just type in wildcard Trojan mod percentage whatever and this what this basically means is it's going to search for anything with as many characters before it and as many characters after it but with the word Trojan somewhere so you can do that and you can query it and you should get some results now this does take a while the side response is a little bit slow so you have to deal with that but it usually does work out now apart from this, CleanMX do have other websites too. They have a spam website, they have a phishing website. So you feel free to check those out too. I'm not going to go to each and every one of them over here, but you get the idea. You can search for more yourself. And if you're, especially if you're looking for phishing links, there is a really nice website called Fish Tank. I'm not going to be showing that in this video because we're going to be focusing mostly on malware but if you want phishing links fish tank is a great place to get really fresh phishing links so you can try that out so this is basically how clean MX works and I'm gonna wait for the results so let's move on virus total now a lot of you already know this website. What you probably don't know is that the virus total has its own community. They have their members and these members are constantly posting new and fresh malware on this place. So if you want to check that out, you can always go to community, you can become a member and then you can read the posts of pretty much anyone over here and you will find a lot of good malware sometimes and you can check out the latest comments and that will usually give you some links. I mean sometimes it's just not accessible but a lot of the times I'll, I'll show you some examples if we go to most reputed users there you go you can, you can find links over here like this one this three days ago we're not getting a lot of fresh things but yeah this is how you can find some malware at Fires Total by browsing their community forums and things like that. Now a lot of you also ask me where do I get packs of malware? I mean, where can I download 500 malware? That's a really bad way to ask a question. If you want to know where to download packs of malware, you don't say, there's no place that says, hey, 500 malware download click over here if, if it's saying that it's it's probably malware so yeah you are getting malware but you're not getting you know good samples you're probably gonna just end gonna end up with a ton of adware on your system whatever the case that was a joke so if you want malware files all packed no you do not do it like you know go to a malware website like malcode and hey let's start downloading Let's download this file, let's download this file, let's download this file, let's download this file. And 
you know, let's have like 500 of these this way. No, you'll 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 go insane. Please don't do that. Visit your doctor if you're having problems like that. So <laughs> never do that, guys. That's that's not how you get a pack of malware. That's not how I get a pack of malware. You know, you can probably do that if you have a month to spare, but otherwise you can use something like Firesign. So Firesign is a place where they actually have their own kind of sandbox and analysis. So they analyze a ton of malware and what they do is they release a free pack that pretty much everyone can download and the size of this varies from something like you know, sometimes it's like 300 to 500 per day, and you can subscribe to these people, and you'll get really nice malware samples. You know, the kind that I do my later detection ratio test with. Now, they also have paid services, so you can obviously get even more. You can get thousands of samples if you want per day. And sometimes this website has issues, they've had a lot of server issues in the past where they won't be updating their malware list for quite a while, and that's when you start having problems. But when it's working fine, it's, it's pretty good, but of course this is not something to just, you know, malware is not like, hey, I want to get some malware, so let's just go here and download a ton of stuff. No. I mean, that's, that's not how it works. It's only for professionals, so if you want, you can always contact service at farsign.com and you can ask them to create your account. You need to tell them that basically you're a professional and you know how to mal handle malware samples and they'll probably create an account for you. And once you have your own account, you can log in to Farsign and once you log in, you should be able to access the malware samples. Now right now I'm not logged in so I can't really show you the malware but as you can see you need to contact them first. Now apart from this, so these are some of the primary websites that I use apart from that you really need to get into forums. Now there are a lot of good malware forums, there's malware tips, there's the malware bias forums, pretty much every anti-malware or antivirus product has their own forums. So check out forums, go there. They always have some kind of malware section where users are allowed to post malware and maybe discuss malware and maybe analyze malware. Those are going to be great places. You can learn a lot, you can find out a lot about malware in general, and you can also, you know, grab a few samples for yourself. Now sometimes in places like malware tips there are a lot of fellow users or security researchers and things like that. They post their own samples so you can use those. There are a lot of great sources. So that is going to conclude this video about finding malware. Once again, if you're a new user and you just enjoy watching tests and things like that, there is no need to get into, you know, malware and try to download it and test it. It's not a very easy and convenient thing to do. I guess it can be if you're experienced, but once again, I would not recommend doing this just for fun. If you are doing it, make sure you're running a virtual machine. Never run malware on your host machine. And even if you are running malware on a virtual machine, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. If you have an ISP um, and the malware kind of connects to the network and tries to do some crap and, you know, infect other users on your network, you may get into trouble for that. So there are a lot of things that can and will go wrong. Murphy's Law. So do not take these things lightly. If you are a serious security researcher or, you know, anyone who is a real enthusiast and you do this stuff, then you can obviously go ahead and use these sources. But otherwise, you can always turn to the PC Security channel and a lot of other great testing uh, websites and YouTube channels and things like that where you can actually see these things in action without having to go through all this pain yourself. So once again, hope you enjoyed this video. This was kind of different, but I really wanted to put this information out there in case 
because I do know there are a lot of other testers who watch my channel and who always ask me like where do I get malware where do I you know find these samples that you use in your test how can I get newer samples so there is no straightforward answer there's no one website that'll give you all the latest samples that you ever need no it's it's not like that you have to do your research you have to visit a ton of places you have to spend time collecting malware you know maybe some from here some from there and then in the end you have to you know put all of them together and it's it's uh it's some something like it's it's not the most straightforward thing ever i mean it is fairly easy these days but I mean you do need some kind of experience to go through all that so if you're a really novice user this is not for you so hope you guys enjoyed this hope the advanced users like it hope the novice users at least found it nice to know that you know this is how we go about testing so well I mean if you, if you just want to be secure all you have to do is well, basically subscribe to the PC security channel or you know there are a ton of other channels but I'm gonna do a bit of shameless self-advertising so hey subscribe okay now you guys are laughing at me so that'll be that stay informed stay secure